look at your experience. It seems like you're having an experience. <laughs> you're like, ah, like this is me, I'm like a person and I'm having an experience. But when you really start looking at like what's in that experience, like the sensations of it, um, like the sensations of what's in your body and what's actually there visually and what you're actually hearing and what you're actually thinking and what you're actually feeling. The idea that it's like you having an experience kind of breaks down because there's a bunch of things which don't really fit into that paradigm. When you start looking at your sensations in your body, they seem to kind of have a mind of their own and they don't really seem to fit into any standard ideas of what they should be. Like if you bring your attention down to like your hips, there's like a little tingling there and then it's like, oh, like what the fuck is this? And then it seems to like move around. And you go, oh, you know, like, I mean, I guess this is me having an experience, but also, like, when you really start looking at things, it's like, oh, wait, like, this stuff that I'm looking at, like, even just, like, the wall that I'm looking at, or the screen that I'm looking at, it doesn't really seem to have any clear boundaries. Like, it doesn't really seem to be, like, a screen or a wall. Um, and really, if I just, like, let my vision kind of, uh, like, if I just stop asserting my own presence on my vision, it just kind of all seems to be like one continuous motion that just keeps happening and that continuous motion that just keeps happening applies on like a, the, the finest like micro detail and also the largest macro detail and when you start seeing things that way it becomes really hard to consider yourself a person who is having an experience rather than there just being things happening all the time kind of of themselves by themselves with no controller sort of like experiencing them they're just kind of just happening. And you know, that's how you dissolve the duality between you know, experienced and not experienced, or like experienced and observer, is you just really look at what's actually going on. And when you get to a certain level of detail or reality to the things that are going on, then all of these ways that you thought you were perceiving things, you just see that they're not true. You're like, oh, like this like observer, like objects thing just isn't really true for me right now. And when you keep doing that, you keep realizing that, you keep seeing that, you keep seeing the reality of that. The reality of everything changing and everything not really being caused by you. Uh, everything kind of just doing its own thing, occurring by itself, of itself, with its own rules. Then eventually, you notice the truth of reality. That it's non-dual. And then all of that stuff can just kind of fade away. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Bye.